Motion detection on the SQ11 Mini DV camera. What is it? Is it any good? And how do you set it up? Let's just jump straight into it and find out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video from China Tech. And I noticed a lot of comments on my first video on the SQ11 Mini DV camera asking for some help on how to actually set up motion detection on this camera because that is one thing that I didn't quite go over in that video. If you haven't seen it though, definitely check it out. It gives you a whole comprehensive overview of this camera and how you can access all the different modes. But today I'm specifically going to go over how we can set up motion detection on this camera. So the motion detection mode on this camera lets you sort of just leave it and whenever it senses any sort of motion in the frame it'll actually activate and record a little clip for you. So that feature might be useful if you're trying to set up you know some sort of little security camera or some sort of monitoring camera. So how do you set it up? Well there actually are two different modes that we can use. So if we turn on the camera we can do that by just holding down the power. So we can see we've just turned it on and we have this little blue light. So that means we are in 720p recording mode. So if we set up motion detection now it'll be you know using 720p video to do that detection. If we do want 1080p though we can just hit mode and you can see we have this sort of red-blue combination and that actually means we're on 1080p recording mode. So I'll use 1080p for this video, but of course you can use 720p as well if you want. And that might give you actually some benefits being, you know, mainly using less space overall and perhaps a bit better battery life on this as well. But from here, it's actually super easy. What we wanna do is just press and hold the mode button down for about three seconds. And you'll see those lights have all started blinking. And so now what that means is it is actually in motion detection mode. So now if you just set it down, it will actually, you know, function as a motion detection camera. So I'll give you some sample footage that I've just got up as well. You can mount this in a little mount maybe and uh, set it up as a motion detection camera. And now once you're actually, you know, done or you want to review the files on your computer, you want to make sure that you actually turn off the motion detection first and then, you know, turn off the device so that you're not corrupting anything. And to do that, it's super easy. So this is set up in motion detection mode. And if you just press the mode button, you can see we're now back to the main sort of mode and we can just press and hold the power and turn the device off. One thing I will add though is that the battery life on this camera probably won't last more than a few hours. Obviously, you know, it's just such a tiny camera that the battery life itself isn't the best. So if you do want longer battery life, I find that actually uh, plugging in a portable battery pack. So you can just plug in a charging cord back here, the cord that comes with the camera. Just, you know, plugging that into a portable battery pack can give you a lot, a lot more battery life. Uh, you know, the battery in here is only, you know, a few hundred milliamp hours. If you plug in a 2000 milliamp hour battery pack, you're going to be able to get, you know, more than a day's worth of recording time just about uh, and the SD card will actually continuously overwrite as well I'm pretty sure so you can just put in a pretty large SD card have it set up to continuously be overriding those videos as it fills up and you can actually have a pretty decent little security camera uh, maybe not the best quality or highest resolution but for you know ten dollars or whatever I'll have a link to it in the video description but you know for about ten bucks you can't really go wrong but yeah so that just about wraps up this quick little video uh, motion detection on the SQ11 mini DV camera is actually pretty easy to set up overall I hope you found this video useful and helpful in setting this up uh, so thank you for watching if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below and I'll have a link in the video description to where you can pick up an SQ11 mini DV camera for yourself if you are interested I'd also love to hear your suggestions for more videos in the comments section you know maybe you have some more questions about the SQ11 mini DV camera that you'd like me to answer or maybe some other cheap cameras you'd like me to check out let me know those suggestions in the comments section apart from that though thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video